Works. The House gave final approval to Tuesday, rather, to an agreement designed to protect the water in the Great Lakes. JS on air now. We are joined by Journal Sentinel reporter Dan Egan. Dan, t take us through this thing. What is the next step now? Well, that, that pretty much was the last step. Uh, President Bush has to sign it, then it'll become law, and, and then the new rules kick in, and they basically prohibit uh, large-scale diversions of Great Lakes water out of the region, with some, some exceptions, specifically for, uh, for Milwaukee suburban communities like New Berlin and Waukesha, which I think everybody knows are in pretty desperate need for some new water. Dan, this has been kind of a long time in the making. What actually does this mean for people uh, living, you know, on these lake fronts along the, the Great Lakes area? Well, I don't know how much it means for somebody today, but it could mean a lot for somebody living there uh, two generations, three generations, four generations down the road. Uh, the lakes are really big, and it would take a lot of, a lot of water moving out of them to, for it to have an appreciable uh, effect on their levels. But uh, I think a lot of people are aware that water is becoming an increasingly um, important commodity. And they say it's going to be the oil of the 21st century. There's going to be more communities, regions, countries that are going to be looking for fresh sources of water. And the Great Lakes, which hold about 90% of the nation's fresh surface water, are going to look really appealing in the next 30 or 40 years. And Dan, so, Dan, you raise a good point. Here's the question I have. We know there are places like Arizona and Atlanta where they are already seeing water problems, and this is a federal issue. Uh, is there anything in this legislation that does anything to protect the people who uh, arguably will not have water a generation from now? No, this is, this is to protect the Great Lakes. I, I think um, <laughs> there's, there's enough water. I'm, I'm no world water expert, but there, there's, there's a lot of water out there. It's a, it's a, it's a matter of using it um, appropriately and conserving it. I didn't get the, the beginning part of your question. So something was going on in my ear. Do you want to give it to me again? Question, Dan, and we appreciate you being here. That's Dan Egan from the Journal Sentinel, and you can read his article uh, online right now. Thanks, Dan. You know, really a proactive step if you think about it. Yeah. Uh, and you can read more about this issue at jsonline.com. We have a link on our website, todaystmj4.com.